see Dr. Mark Davis, there we are. Now, one of the things I learned in your session about video is lighting. Look at this yep. lighting. Let's, <laughs> let's gently and gracefully walk forward so that we, we have better light. And that's, that's, that's not improving. Really, 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 and, and boom. There we go. Now, I also learned we shouldn't have a background behind us. We should have like that background, what Ooh, we can see in front of us. Oh, we're now. Oh, Actually, we're coming no. this way. There we go. go. Let's, we're just walking. This is so professional. <laughs> yeah, this way. You're like, it's like having a little joke in, but it's yeah, awesome. Yeah, like, there you go. Cool. There we go. <laughs> There we are. So now, you see, I'm getting a masterclass from the expert here. It must be. I've called that before. Thank so, you. So, so Mark, well, tell us a little bit about what it is that you do. So, I'm a profession, we're a professional film company, um, C Learning. So, we've been in the space for about three or four years. So, we um, create professional video production into L and D, but we also teach people how to shoot their own content in house. So people think that we're a bit mental um, and like why would we give away our industry secrets and things like that but it's actually such is the hunger for video and learning and development at the moment um, that people just don't have the budgets to sustain getting professionals in so they want to get like um, yeah they, they, they still want to get professionals in for like the high end stuff but they want to have um, they still want to be, be able to do stuff internally on the, you know on their own like that that need it now need it right now kind of thing yeah. where they you know they don't want to go through the briefing process and they don't have the budgets and so you know it's um yeah it's all going well yeah almost a bit like this cheap and nasty kit that i've got you on I right now <laughs> and you got like nerves of steel like rock solid rock solid grip on the phone oh, though it's like I just feel my arm at the end of the day it's like jelly it's ridiculous but i mean this is it there's an interesting point we're standing here talking to each other and looking at the camera which is very different from the, the framing that you suggested for your kind of your interviews just now so what was it you were suggesting that how yeah. people frame the interviewer well i think just so i think what we're doing now is awesome because like you know this is like going out live and it's like right now in the event which is really really cool and i, I and I, and I love that sort of style um with the framing that we were talking about earlier on like it's just like how you frame an interview professionally we had it was all hands-on we kind of had people being an interviewer and interviewee and i was showing them different sit um the relationship between light and um angles and distance from the camera and that kind of thing but it's basically if you've got a camera then on your on your on your smartphone either be it like the, the built-in camera or if you use an app like filmic pro which i'd really recommend it's got a grid and when you frame your interview you put the person like, on the intersection on the left or the right so actually that's corners. a little bit of where I've got you now set yeah. up on yeah, this so like picture this. Yeah. so I, I'm on too much on the edge yeah. but I'm always on the edge <laughs> but there we go if we come a little bit closer you might not want me to yeah push, so I'd be kind of like I'm going like here yeah. talking across yeah, yeah exactly so. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so what about the kit I mean you know I've just done a live periscope and said I've got a three quid handheld thing from eBay I've got a 25 quid lapelia mic you know it's uh, did you call it a lavelia mic am I pronouncing that Le wrong lavelia lavelia or, you call it lav lav mic lav lapel mic Cool. Okay. Cool, Fair enough. Okay, so at least I've got some of the terminology right. Yeah. Well, what are some of the things that people can do if they want to film either for their own organisation, their own company? You know, they don't have a lot of budget. They might have a hundred, a couple of hundred quid, if that. What yeah. kind of things can they do to get their smartphone to be a little bit better? I would say if we went, if we went for like a hundred to two hundred pounds, I would say we would go for um, a tripod to keep the phone on the to try to keep everything stable yeah um or like these gimbals are, what you've got here is quite cool but like generally speaking a tripod and you need a device to attach the camera to the tripod so that's going to be like a um you can get a, one of them's one of the things is called a glyph or there's joby that do this j-o-b-i and they do um it's basically a grip that puts you you put you put it on your phone and then that goes onto the tripod so all of that could vary you can get a tripod from anything from two from 20 to 100 pounds depending on what you want to get then the phone goes on that then after that just like a lav mic like what you've got like you know we're using available light you know we've got you don't need a huge amount and then if you want to just kind of like pimp it out from there you can I mean you can spend hundreds and thousands of pounds or you can spend you can be up and rolling for about 100 to 200 quid and the thing I I will, as I said to people in there earlier on it's just like don't worry about having it at Spielberg professional quality, you know? Yeah, I certainly don't do that. <laughs>